I'm Kate Cheney Chapel, and I'm here in my studio in Westbrook, Maine, west of Portland. I'm a 1983 graduate of the University of Southern Maine, and I went there really to restart my art career, my career as a professional artist after co-founding and running Tons of Maine with my husband, Tom. In the course of my studies, I took the illuminated autobiography with Rebecca Goodale and Dennis Gilbert, and that changed my life. I love this medium of artist books. I love the fact that words and images can be mixed together and danced together in the same form. And my children will tell you that I read the dictionary for pleasure. I write poetry, so that was the perfect way to marry these two interests of mine and to have an art form that just blossoms out in, in many different ways. What I would like to do is show you some of my early books, and particularly one that I did in 2003 that was a collaboration with 21 other artists. And it's called The Envelope Book, and it's in two volumes. I have it here on the table. It's an accordion. But you'll see that the pages go the long way, and they really are envelopes. And this was part of a show, I, a solo show I did at that same time called Envelope. And it's based on my recent loss of my mother and a need to share that grief in a way with other, other daughters. I was reading a poem called The Envelope by Maxine Kuhlman. And I shared that poem with my friends who are artists, and I, I sent them an envelope, and I asked them to fill the envelope with words and images about their mothers. And I got all these back. Here they are. Um, and it's amazing. I bound them in. And in order to read this book, you really have to go along and take things out as you go. So it allows you to actually read the book with other people. I'm going to collapse this book down to what looks like a fairly ordinary book, only long. In 2012, I was asked to do a show that commemorated the 50th anniversary of Silent Spring at Chatham University. Uh, Silent Spring was written by Rachel Carson and it was the, the really the first time that uh, a scientist had raised grave concerns about uh, chemicals we were using and things that were affecting the environment that were man-made. So, <clears throat> of course, she warned us in Silent Spring about DDT. And this book is also an accordion but it's made of images of people spraying dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane, which is what DDT is. And you can see the spraying going on. Here's a little boy who's being sprayed directly with DDT. And then a quote by Rachel Carson, but man is a part of nature and his war against nature is inevitably a war against himself. So now I'd like to invite you to visit me on Monhegan Island, if only virtually, where I live in the summer and have a studio there. Welcome to my studio on Monhegan Island. It's a beautiful day here. And I'm sitting down at my little work table looking out to sea. I've been working on a Dosa Do book. It's a work in progress right now. And I found some old shibori dyed cloth that I made at Haystack. And I've made the outside cover and the inside cover, but it's really two books in one. And the spiders are gonna live inside. Here's the Black Widow. And this actually kind of creeped me out as I was making it. On the other side is going to be blackberries, and I've started to do that painting. But I've got more large blackberries drawn out. So I'll sew it, and then it'll be a dosado, just like that. 
I welcome you all someday to Monhegan Island. It's a funny time we're in now with the pandemic, but soon my studio will be open again to visitors and come and see my book, see my art, and maybe make some books with me. And Annie Lee, I welcome you to Maine and to being the new program director for the Center for Book Arts. And come see me on the island.